Well, hello, everybody. It is Wednesday evening on, uh, we'll call it the middle of our busy day because even though it's five o'clock, we've still got uh, much ministry ahead of us. So thank you for being with us to take some time out and uh, be together in prayer and uh, fellowship. If you are watching anywhere, Facebook or YouTube and have prayer concerns, please add them to the comment section and we will read them live on Facebook or in, uh, the, on the YouTube, we will read them at our next daily office tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. morning prayer. And if you are watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. And uh, so you can see all the, all the offices that we do the, the Sunday morning um, Eucharist and Father's vlog on Thursday. So stay tuned for that. And if you were watching on Facebook, tell all your friends, uh, start a watch party and uh, let, let everyone know we're here every Monday through Thursday, morning prayer, 9 a.m., evening prayer at 5 p.m. So good to be together. Well, uh... We'll also um, uh, offer with special intention prayers tonight for Allie um, and her family. Allie uh, is a cohort of the cohort of my sister in her treatment and uh, succumbed to lung cancer today after a hard battle. So we'll pray for her and her family, for her boys and for her, her husband. Special intentions for this service. Yeah, thank you. So oh, evening prayer. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart, we have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent for the sake of your son, Jesus Christ. Have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Please join me for the invitatory. O oh gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O oh Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light. We sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and be glorified through all the worlds. Our psalm this evening is a portion of Psalm 119. I will lead with the odd verses. Please respond with the even. I have done what is just and right. Do not leave me to my oppressors. Guarantee your servant's well-being. Do not let the godless oppress me. My eyes fail from watching for your salvation and for the fulfillment of your righteous promise. Deal with your servant according to your steadfast love and teach me your statutes. I am your servant. Give me understanding so that I may know your decrees. It is time for the Lord to act, for your law has been broken. Truly, I love your commandments more than gold, more than fine gold. Truly, I direct my steps by all your precepts. I hate every false way. Your decrees are wonderful, therefore my soul keeps them. The unfolding of your words gives light. It imparts understanding to the simple. With open mouth I pant, because I long for your commandments. Turn to me and be gracious to me, as is your custom toward those who love your name. Keep my steps steady according to your promise, 
and never let iniquity have dominion over me. Redeem me from human oppression, that I may keep your precepts. Make your face shine upon your servant and teach me your statutes. My eyes shed streams of tears because your law is not kept. You are righteous, O Lord, and your judgments are right. You have appointed your decrees in righteousness and in all faithfulness. My zeal consumes me because my foes forget your words. Your promise is well tried and your servant loves it. I am small and despised, yet I do not forget your precepts. Your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and your law is the truth. Trouble and anguish have come upon me, but your commandments are my delight. Your decrees are righteous forever. Give me understanding that I may live. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Paul's letter to the church in Rome. For the promise that he would inherit the world did not come to Abraham or to his descendants through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. If it is the adherents of the law who are to be the heirs, faith is null and the promise is void. For the law brings wrath, but where there is no law, neither is there violation. For this reason, it depends on faith in order that the promise may rest on grace and be guaranteed to all his descendants, not only to the adherents of the law, but also to those who share the faith of Abraham. For he is the father of all of us, as it is written, I have made you father of many nations. In the presence of God in whom we believed, who gives life to the dead and calls into existence the things that do not exist. Hoping against hope, he believed that he would become the father of many nations, According to what was said, so numerous shall your descendants be. He did not weaken in faith when he considered his own body, which was already as good as dead, for he was about 100 years old, or when he considered the barrenness of Sarah's womb. No distrust made him waver concerning the promise of God, but he drew, grew strong in his faith as he gave glory to God, being fully convinced that God was able to do what he had promised. Therefore, his faith was reckoned to him as righteousness. Now the words, it was reckoned to him, were written not for his sake alone, but for ours also. It will be reckoned to us who believe in him, who raised Jesus our Lord from the dead, who was handed over to death for our trespasses, and was raised for our justification. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle this evening is the Song of Mary, together. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Luke. When the hour came, he took his place at the table and the apostles with him. He said to them, I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer, for I tell you, I will not eat it until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. Then he took a cup, and after giving thanks, he said, Take this and divide it among yourselves, for I tell you that from now on I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. Then he took a loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And he did the same with the cup after supper, saying, This cup that is poured out for you is the new covenant in my blood. But see, the one who betrays me is with me, and his hand is on the table. For the Son of Man is going as it has been determined, but woe to that one by whom he is betrayed. Then they began to ask one another which one of them it could be who would do this. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second canticle this evening, the Song of Simeon, together. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. O oh Lord, make us have perpetual love and reverence for your holy name, for you never fail to help and govern those, govern those whom you have set upon the sure foundation of your loving kindness, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O oh God, the life of all who live, the light of the faithful, the strength of those who labor, and the repose of the dead. We thank you for the blessings of the day that is past and humbly ask for your protection through the coming night. Bring us in safety to the morning hours through him who died and rose again for, rose again for us, your son, our savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. O oh God, you manifest in your servants the signs of your presence. Send forth upon us the spirit of love, that in companionship with one another, your abounding grace may increase among us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite your prayers of intercession and thanksgiving. We pray for the repose of Allie, who passed away today, and for the consolation of her family and friends. give thanks for the opportunity we have had to offer pastoral care and comfort to those in our community who are shut in or who are grieved and lost. In this, in this Pride Month, remember all our brothers and sisters who strive for acceptance, for, for those whom they love and for those who identify as they identify. 
that they may be fully embraced by the world, that barriers may crumble, and we may all be united in love. Oh God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus, your son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth, that in your good time, all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please join me for the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and, <clears throat> and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from genera generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you, everyone. That is uh, That concludes our, our prayer time for this evening. We still have the uh, our Wednesday night supper beginning any minute now with uh, food cooked by our St. Peter's Kitchen crew. And, and Rhea Mar in South River. And Rhea Mar. So best Portuguese food around. So two dinners, come down, pick up, uh, pick up for yourself, for your neighbors, anyone who you know might be hungry. And uh, blessings and prayers to Father as he extends uh, comfort and uh, offers burial rites in Old Bridge later this evening. And we will be together again tomorrow morning for morning prayer at nine o'clock and watch for a rector's vlog some, sometime midday and evening prayer tomorrow night at five. So blessed rest, everybody, and we will see you soon. See you soon. Bye-bye. Take care and God bless. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye.